Morning everybody. It's seven o'clock here in Castel de Ferro and we are going to Cordoba today. put Granada in. I also know we're going to Cordoba. In fact, I've already recorded a segment talking about how we're going to Cordoba. <laughs> Yet, I, I also didn't notice that she put Granada in. So we've been driving to Granada for the past half hour. On the plus side, thankfully, Granada and Cordoba are kind of the same direction. Yes. So I don't think, I don't think we've lost any time. We're still getting there at the same time. So, whew, good thing we figured it out before we actually officially got to Granada, because that would have been bad. <laughs> well, to Granada. <laughs> Never mind, we're supposed to be in Cordoba. It's been absolutely gorgeous, though. This drive is spectacular. to find I believe a free parking space here in Cordoba which I hear is quite illustrious indeed and so we are really excited because that's you know a good 20 to 25 euro saved um, but we're at this beautiful little park and we're about to go cross into the Roman Bridge. We're really excited to get this journey started. It took us about three hours to get here. Uh, not a ton of in-town driving so that's good for me because I always get a little bit scared of driving in town. The weather is gorgeous and we are ready to take in one of our first really, ex we're really excited to take in this area. So it's one of the first places that we really wanted to see in Andalusia. So here we go, stepping back into history. Welcome to the Roman Bridge of Cordoba. This is an 8th century bridge built over a 1st century bridge with a tower that was built in, I can't remember, is it the 16th century? I'm just gonna like put it down here below because I'm pretty sure I'm wrong on that. Have you ever heard the expression, all roads lead to Rome? Well, this road is a great example. It led straight from Cordoba and the road would go all the way through to Rome. So these were just kind of built over time, but it is a really cool bridge and it used to be the only bridge that would actually let you enter into the city of Cordoba. So we're gonna check it out. It looks pretty awesome. Let's go.
in the mosque cathedral in Cordoba and it's quite hard to not want to take a video and a photo of absolutely everything in here because every step of the way there's so much to look at you're in awe the time from the time you see the building from the outside and through the entire thing I can't even express just how beautiful and unique this place is um, we've been to a lot of cathedrals and I'm got I gotta say this is my favorite this gets to the top of my list it is so unique and so beautiful I can't even Just everywhere you look. Cordoba's winding streets, being immersed in the history, seeing horse-drawn carriages, listening to locals play music, and tasting traditional Spanish dishes like paella was all a magical experience of Cordoba that you and your family will not want to miss. <laughs> We're in front of the Jewish synagogue in the Jewish quarter of Cordoba. This synagogue was built in the 13th century AD or CE. It was built perhaps for a rich family or perhaps a trade guild here in Cordoba. And it is one of the few surviving synagogues in all of Spain. Actually one of the few surviving synagogues in Europe. What makes this synagogue very unique is all the Islamic art incorporated in its design. Cordoba has much to offer anyone who wants to visit, including families. Our boys enjoyed seeing the Mosque Cathedral. Our oldest wants to use it as a setting in one of his stories. The winding streets had them running, playing, and discovering. They enjoyed the food, especially the gelato that you can find all over this historic city. But most of all, they loved the park. A lovely green space follows the river and includes a large playground, great for all ages. All in all, Cordoba was a hit for our whole family, and we believe it will be for you too. It's an absolute must-see on your visit to Southern Spain.
Don't forget to subscribe below to follow our journey throughout Spain and the world. We have some amazing adventures in store for you, so join us every further mile.